over the country there are people in terminal, having terminal cases of cancer or AIDS, uh, who are given, for example, huge doses of chemotherapeutic agents, which force them to be uh, nauseous, to be unable to, to take food, which then leads rapidly to their dwindling away because they can't eat. Now, it's well established that marijuana counteracts this nausea. And, uh, and in the few cases where, where it's permitted, remarkable, or which it's done illegally, uh, remarkable benefits accrue. Is it rational to forbid patients who are dying from taking marijuana as a palliative to permit them to gain body weight and to get some food down. It seems madness to say we're worried that they're going to become addicted to marijuana. There's no evidence, whatever, that it's an addictive drug, but even if it were, these people are dying. What are we saving them from? So that's an example of a highly irrational uh, official government position uh, on at least some parts of drugs. We could argue, you know, case by case, molecule by molecule, but at least some parts of it are clearly irrational. As a footnote to what you just said, it might be noted that uh, two months ago, a 70-year-old grandmother in California was raided in her own kitchen cooking marijuana cookies to be given to AIDS sufferers. And she's facing five years in prison. Quite a term for a 70-year-old grandmother, I would say. And indicating the irrationality that you just pointed up with respect to marijuana as medicine.